Hey guys, Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com, bringing you my review plus on feet video of the Camo Pack Nike Magista Obra. Now, as you guys can see, it does come in a special camo box with the Chrome Magista branding. The camo pattern on the box is exactly what, like what you're going to find on the actual shoes. Of course, inside the box, they do include a string bag that also has the camo pattern, black strings. It has Magista X branding for some reason. I'm not sure if that's a mistake on Nike's part or every single pair comes with the Magista X branding, which obviously is the indoor line, not the firm ground shoe like I'm showing you in the video. There's a Nike swoosh there at the bottom. Both of these two logos are reflective material. And on the back, it's solid black with the reflective Nike football logo. Other than that, all you're gonna find inside the box, as you guys can see, are the shoes themselves. So we'll get these guys out of the box really quickly and we'll take a closer look at what I think is a really good looking colorway of the Nike Magista Obra, which of course is the camo pack variation. Now in this video, we're of course going to take a closer look at the colorway itself. We're gonna talk tech specs, general performance, take a look at the weight of the shoe, as well as talk about how they fit and feel on feet. So if you're interested in learning more about the camo pack Obra, stick around, watch the entire video. If you're interested in a pair for yourself, click the very first link down below in the description, and that's gonna take you to the review page on my website, where you will find Buy It Now links, where you'll be able to pick these up below their normal $300 retail price. So again, if you're interested in a pair, first link down below, go ahead and check it out. And with that being said, let's get right into the review. To start things off, let's take a closer look at the colorway. Now, obviously it has a camo pattern across the entire upper as well as the sole plate. And really this particular camo pattern of the entire pack, when I think of just general camo, this is it. And that's not a bad thing at all. I, I really like this particular pattern and the combination of colors that they've used. So as you guys can see, it does have more of a matte finish to it. It is just a Nike skin covering on top of what looks to be an all black fly knit Magista Obra. Uh, but basically you have kind of a regular green, you have more of an olive green, almost like light brown color, you have a standard brown, and then of course you do have the matte black as well. A lot of people have been asking whether or not the camo pattern is random, as you guys can see side by side. It isn't, it's the same pattern on every single shoe in all the same places, but it looks really, really good. I know not everybody's a huge fan of camo, but for me personally, I really like this look. It's not too bright, but at the same time, it's very, very different. And of course, that camo pattern does continue on the bottom of the sole plate, even in the heel counter, which again, I think is a pretty cool little detail. As far as other aspects of the colorway, you're gonna find that the laces, as well as the exposed fly knit across the top of the foot and collar, solid black in color. The Nike swoosh features a black outline and the middle part is actually reflective on both sides. Same thing goes for the Magista branding going down the back of the collar. That's also reflective. And that's pretty much it, guys. The studs, as you guys can see, are translucent in color. And overall, it's, it's a very military-looking Magista Obra. Some people love it. Some people hate it. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. And with that being said, let's move on to the tech specs so we can learn a little bit more about the overall performance. As far as performance is concerned, the Magista Obra is a very popular shoe for good reason. Now, we're going to go over the basic tech specs in this particular video of things that you should know if you're interested in a pair of these. But if you guys do want more info, I'll leave annotations on screen to my playtest video and traction test videos. So if you do want to see the shoes in action, you can go ahead and check those out if you haven't already. Now, with this shoe, you do of course get a fly knit upper. There are two types of fly knit. The part that is actually covered in this camo Nike skin, that's the part that's going to be more structured. And then you have the exposed fly knit across the top of the foot, as well as in the collar, which is actually elasticated. So it offers no structure whatsoever. So with the more structured area, it's a very dense pattern. Um, it has some thickness to it, although I definitely will say that it is still on the thinner side, but in comparison to the Superfly, it definitely is thicker. Um, as far as actual touch on the ball is concerned, it does have a very natural sensation. Again, on the thinner side, um, the inside does have a uh, kind of soft padded liner material, so that does add a little bit of cushion on the ball. But for the most part, like I said, if you're looking for a shoe that has a thinner feel, but with a little bit of softness to it as well, that's kind of what the Magista Obra has on offer. The way it fits and feels 
also adds to the experience because once they are broken in, it does have that kind of sock-like sensation on your foot, which is obviously what a lot of people are after with these mid-cut flyknit models from Nike. Um, as far as other elements to the upper that you're gonna find, um, it does have Brio cables that run from the base of the sole into the lacing system. They're actually hidden within the flyknit pattern. So when you pull the laces tight, it pulls on those cables on either side, kind of locking your foot in place and really providing a more responsive feel than you might expect from a shoe that has an upper as soft and flexible as the Obra. So as far as responsiveness is concerned, there are no issues here whatsoever. The Obra is extremely responsive. Um, as far as other aspects of the upper go, you're gonna find that it does have a Nike skin covering that acts as a protective layer for the fly knit and obviously does add a little bit of extra grip on the ball if they left it just completely bare fly knit. It would almost be like playing in your socks, which obviously would be kind of slippery on the ball. So this isn't necessarily grippy, it's just something that's there to prevent excessive slippage on the ball, if that makes any sense. And then of course you do have ACC all conditions control as a feature. It's a wet control element that Nike has on pretty much all their top end models, but not something that in my opinion is going to make or break your experience with any Nike shoe. Um, as far as the lacing system is concerned, you can see it runs kind of in the middle, but is pushed ever so slightly to the medial side, something that you get used to very quickly. It doesn't really feel weird um, if you're wondering. As far as the actual collar is concerned, this is where you move on to the elasticated fly knit. So as you guys can see, it is quite stretchy. Same thing goes with the fly knit across the top of the foot where the tongue would normally be. Obviously this is a one piece construction though. Um, a lot of misconceptions with the collar. A lot of people think it provides some kind of ankle support. It doesn't, it's just an extension piece. Really the collar could be cut off right here and the actual experience of wearing this shoe wouldn't be any different. They just have the extension piece to give you this sensation of kind of a more flowing fit where the shoe feels like it comes from your leg onto your foot as opposed to something that's just strapped to your foot. And then obviously it's there for aesthetic reasons. It does give the shoe a pretty distinctive look and a lot of people seem to like the look of mid-cut shoes in general. But again, there's no performance benefit to wearing any mid-cut model at all. Um, as far as the fit in the heel is concerned, it does have a little bit of a stiffer feel, something that you do take, uh, take some time to get used to. I'll talk about that a little bit more during the on-feet portion of the video. There is a synthetic leather liner in there that I can't really show you because I can't open up the shoe. The insole, fully removable. It features a, a mesh liner on top. Obviously, this one does have the camo pattern given the colorway of the shoe. Uh, perforations throughout, as you guys can see. And it's just a single layer of this yellow foam. Decent thickness to it, but nothing too fancy overall, although it does get the job done. You have an external heel counter fully made from plastic, which I really like. And then of course you do get the um, uh, compressed nylon sole plate that is a little bit stiffer in comparison to what you're gonna get from the Tiempo line, despite it looking quite similar. Not too bad though, something you get used to pretty quickly, and it does soften up a little bit after a couple hours of wear. And as far as the stud pattern is concerned, again, very similar to what you're gonna find with, from the Tiempos. The pattern at the front is basically identical, and then under the heel, instead of bladed studs, you find conical studs, which ultimately doesn't make for that big of a difference in terms of feel and performance as far as traction goes. So on firm natural grass, given that this is a firm ground stud pattern. The traction that it provides is actually quite good. The studs, while they are rounded, which is kind of a more traditional style, they're fairly long and have a fairly narrow profile, so they dig into the ground quite nicely, giving you good amount of grip when pushing off in pretty much any direction. And because they're conical in shape, you have that freedom to twist and pivot as well. So again, overall, the stud pattern works extremely well. And it's one of those ones that you'll get used to. It works effectively. And I haven't really heard too many people complain about the Magista firm ground stud pattern variation. So that's pretty much it as far as performance is concerned. Again, the Obra is a very, very capable shoe. And basically, if what I describe sounds good to you, this is definitely one of those shoes that you may want to consider. As far as weight is concerned, the Magista Obra is actually a pretty lightweight shoe. Um, so I'm gonna weigh them for you today in real time using this scale just so we can see exactly how much they weigh. Keep in mind this is a brand new pair in a size 9.5 US. We're gonna throw them on the scale and you can see that they weigh in at 7.2 ounces, the equivalent of 205 grams. For comparison's sake, a Superfly 4 in the exact same size weighs in at pretty much the exact same weight, uh, give or take. 0 0.2, 0 0.3 ounces, a Superfly 4 generally tends to be a touch lighter, but the actual difference in, in weight when you're talking about holding the shoe in your hand and especially wearing them on your feet 
is pretty much non-existent. They are, like I said, pretty much the same weight as the Superfly 4, despite looking and really feeling a lot more significant on your feet. So if you are trying to decide between the Superfly 4 and the Magista Obra, just know that the weight difference is extremely minimal and it really shouldn't be a deciding factor. And overall, if you're looking for a lightweight feel in general from your shoes, you're gonna get that sensation from the Magista Obra. All right, so here is a look at the Obras on feet. On my left foot, I have the stock black laces that come with the shoes. And on my right foot, I have a pair of green camo SR4U replacement laces. If you're interested in a pair of replacement laces for yourself, the website to go to is www.sr4ulaces.com. Find a direct link to that website down below in the description of this video. Now, in terms of sizing, fit and feel on feet, the Obra does have a very sock-like sensation, especially the first time that you put them on. The upper is padded on the inside, it's flexible, it moves nicely with your foot, and it wraps your foot nicely as well. It's not too tight, it's not like it's squeezing your foot or anything like that, but it fits really, really well. The one aspect of all the mid-cut shoes that you'll definitely notice at first too is the heel area. It does have a little bit of a stiffer feel. That's kind of just the nature of the Nike mid-cut design. Uh, you kind of just have to get used to it, break it in slowly. Don't wear them straight into a game or straight into a free kick session. If you do, you can run the risk of blisters um, and just discomfort in general. But as long as you take your time with the break-in process, you should be able to avoid all of that altogether and have a comfortable fit after a few hours of wear time. As far as width is concerned, um, it, does, it definitely does have some decent width to it. Um, they definitely will fit most people, although they don't really stretch. The way they fit out of the box, for the most part, is how they're going to fit for their entire lifespan. So as long as you don't have excessively wide feet, you shouldn't have too many issues fitting comfortably into the Magista Obra. And as far as sizing is concerned, they do run about a half size small. The entire Magista line does. So instead of wearing my usual size 9 US, I bump it up to a 9.5, and the fit and the length is absolutely perfect. So if you are looking to order a pair for yourself, I would strongly recommend going a half size up in order to achieve the best possible fit. All right guys, that is it from a review of the Camo Pack Nike Magista Obra. If you guys are interested in more info, be sure to check out the very first link in the description of this video. On that page, you'll find the high quality images of this exact pair that I took myself. That'll give you a better idea as to how they actually do look in person. And of course, you'll also find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes. Where you'll be able to pick these guys up below their normal uh, $300 retail price. So again, if you're interested in a pair, first link down below, go ahead and check it out. If you have any questions at all regarding this particular shoe, leave them down below in the comments and I definitely will get an answer out to you. If you enjoyed today's video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.